Welcome to DIY Easy Crafts. Today we're going to take a look at using a garden hose water jet to secure pipes to secure a floating dock to a bulkhead. Now I used uh, two inch galvanized pipes, uh, but after about 15 years of submersion in salt water, uh, they completely rotted through, so it's time to change them out. First step was to pull out the old pipes. I used a chain pull for this. I just, you know, mounted it to my, my pipe bracket up top. A little rope and chain, a little bit of effort. They pulled right out of the uh, mud and clay bottom. Now these are two inch galvanized pipes. I got 10 foot lengths down at Home Depot. Um, I'm going to use two lengths and um, I'm going to secure or I'm going to attach a coupling so that I can attach both lengths together. We're gonna to end up with a 20 foot piece. That coupling also acts as a stop. So when you're dropping that top pipe through the, the top bracket, uh, you can't let it go or can't uh, you know slide through all the way. So I've already put the lower pipe, you know, just resting on the bottom through the pipe ring uh, that attaches to the dock. And now you can, you have to, or I had to, sink these about five or six feet into the clay. So you can do this with a sledgehammer, but it is a major pain in the butt. Um, you know, with each swing, it only goes down a, a quarter inch or so. Um, my preferred method is to use a water jet. So I just adapted that two inch pipe with reducers uh, down to three quarter inch pipe thread. And then I went out uh, back to Home Depot and I got a, a three quarter inch pipe to garden hose, a female garden hose adapter. And I screwed that contraption right onto the top of the, of the pipe. In hindsight, I probably should have put a 45 or a 90 degree elbow on there. It would, would prevent the garden hose from kinking. Um, but we, we came up with another solution. We just used a little bit of duct tape um, and duct taped uh, that hose right to the, um, to the water jet adapter. It just you know, kept it having a nice loop rather than kinking. So you can see the coupling on the bottom, and with the water running through the garden hose, it's jetting itself right into the into the bottom. I've got I don't have a sand bottom here. I have a clay bottom, so it, it's tough to get through. You have to give it a little bit of time, and then you can wiggle and jiggle it, and it goes right down. Probably three feet three feet left to go. I did end up taking a, a pipe wrench just to turn the pipe, and it seemed like every time I turned it a quarter turn, you know, it would drop, you know, five or six inches. And then the last few inches, just I just pushed by hand. Much easier uh, than doing it with a sledgehammer. And I finally, I removed uh, the water jet and just replaced it with a pipe cap, and that's the finished project. I hope you enjoyed the, this short little video, how-to video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to this YouTube channel. I'd also like to give you an invite to check us out on DIYEasyCrafts.com. I've got a whole bunch of nautical boating-related um, projects on there. Thank you very much for watching.